Mr. Renzi, you have the floor. Yes, because uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my friend Nikos, I remember he was uh, for 10 years President of the Republic of Pete jokes about uh, the number of uh, British Prime Minister who changed. For me, it's a great reason of happiness because really UK tried to surpass Italy, but you are not able to surpass us because, <laughs> no, no, please, we have fact checking and we call the VAR to verify. So, four Prime Ministers during the service of Nikos. Four prime minister changed for the moment, as Peter <laughs> said. Uh, and so the current, of course, Boris before, Theresa before, and David. So four, for the moment, four. But Italians do better because, <laughs> because during the, the service of uh, Nikos, uh, the first was Mario Monti, yes. then Letta, Enrico, then myself for almost three years, and when I have my speeches around the world, a lot of people, oh, sorry, only three years. But three years in Italy is geological era. So why you are so sad? We are so happy for that. Then uh, Prime Minister Gentiloni, then uh, Prime Minister Giuseppe Conti, then Mario Draghi, and next week we'll have a new Prime Minister. Uh, she will be the first woman. She and a rival for me because she came from far right, uh, Giorgia Meloni, but she, the coalition of far right won election and so probably next week we'll have a new government. I just will, uh, I will speak just some minutes also about Italy, but try to discuss about crisis. Navigating the crisis, it's a very hard job in that period. Crisis, you know, is a word that came from uh, ancient Greece, krino. Krino means uh, see deeply, judge, observe. And uh, krino means uh, we have to observe very deeply what happened around the world. So just a little framework what happened today around the world before the question of Pete. Two days ago, in China, President Xi Jinping opened the Congress for the first time in the history of China. The president remained for more than 10 years. We don't know what could happen in 2027, but it's important to underline President Xi Jinping really changed the history of China and they want to continue to change. It will change again in the next years. That, of course, have a lot of positive results. Please, thinking about the people who exit from poverty. That is absolutely good news. But at the same time, we have a lot of preoccupations for what could happen in the next months, in the next years, in uh, Chinese Sea particularly in Taiwan, but not only in Taiwan. I was with some colleagues just uh, one month ago in Tokyo, less than one month ago, for the ceremony, funeral, for Mr. Abe Shinzo, Prime Minister of Japan for seven years and a half, from 2012 and 2019. And I remembered a lot of discussion with uh, Shinzo about the risks for all the southeast and the area for the tensions in Taiwan. So if we want to see every corner of the world, paradoxically, we have to start from the east. China, Japan, tension between North Korea and South Korea, and I think a crisis of democracy around the world and a crisis of demography in Europe. Please, we have a radical, consider that we have a radical transformation of demography around the world. Not only because in the last century we grew up with an unbelievable way, but because we have today a very great difference between old Europe and the rest of the world. 
Before the crisis of democracy, we have a crisis of demography. Europe is more or less half a billion of people, more or less. And we have a flat growth. At the same time, we have uh, India, who became the first country in terms of population around the world. But we have a growth unbelievable, not only in some countries as Indonesia or the Southeast, but also in Africa. I continue to stress this point. Nigeria will be, in the next 20 years, with m most uh, full of people than everyone, not only country in Africa, that is easy. But the number of population in Nigeria in the next 10, 20 years will be bigger than the Europe, all Europe, more or less 465 million people. That is the expectation. So in that framework, of course, we have tensions in every corner of the world. Probably the growth of extremism will be a problem for our communities more for what happened today in Afghanistan and in Africa than the traditional reasons of Middle East, because there is a radical change of that. And it's very interesting. What means today Boko Haram? Boko Haram means is forbidden reading. Books are a problem. Culture is a problem. Because the real challenge is against education. And of course, just because I have only the time to uh, give a list of potential problem to try to give a solution in terms of navigating crisis, please consider the, the problems for democracy because uh, we have a generation of uh, leaders who think every moment about consensus. In the past, when a man or woman won election, it's easy to try to have five years, four years, six years, one year in Italy because we have a different system, <laughs> but to try to be able to guarantee a government. Now the real problem of leader is thinking every moment about consensus in Instagram, in Twitter, in social network. And that translates the mind of the leader because the leader stopped to be a leader and start to be a follower. And that is a problem, not only for Twitter, but it's a problem because we lost the capacity to have a vision. So in that framework, of course, the most important problem today is the problem in Ukraine with the uh, illegal invasion and aggression uh, from uh, Russian uh, uh, troops. And that is a problem uh, for uh, integrity of our in territory of our friends, Ukrainian friends, but is also a problem about the model of Europe we have in the mind for the next year. And uh, as uh, Nikos explained very well, this uh, war changed totally our position about the single problem. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. That seems the post. That seems the post. Brother, brother and sisters, brother and sister. Brother. <laughs> no, I come from Roma, of course, that is there is. But uh, I think uh, the problem about, first of all, energy, and uh, let me be very clear, I, I have a very great admiration for Cyprus uh, policies in uh, energy because uh, when we start to work together with Nikos uh, in uh, uh, European Council. I remember we had two visions. The first was the vision of Germany, particularly from our friend Angela, who st stressed the point of Nord Stream 2. And our strategy was to try to create a pipeline from the south, from Middle East, and from East Europe. 
And that was a reason of great division and uh, tensions in European Council, and I remember that. But just to conclude, because I decided to offer only a vision of problems, uh, very easy for a politician. I offer a problem, uh, a list of problems, then we will try to discuss about solution. Please consider what happened in the next year, what could happen in the next years about not only energy, but food, food is not simply a question for chef and the TV program. Food has to become one of the most important problems around the world, political problem. The people don't understand how is deep and radical the change about policies on food and, uh, of course, agriculture and sovereignty about food in the next years around the world. And uh, if you think, we have a radical change of vocabulary. We start with uh, words probably unbelievable in the past. War, lockdown, uh, energy crisis. It seems we became a, a citizen of the last century. I think we have to change radically that vision. And I think it's important, the role as uh, countries, as Cyprus, to try to give a new vision for the next years. Because and that is my last consideration. In that time of crisis, we have only one way, we as Europeans, try to encourage a vision focused on the United States of Europe. Because we have an alternative to that. If you think about that crisis, you understand how is deep the radical change between USA and China, and we need a role as Europeans able to try and to guarantee a new future for our children. For that, I know, could be paradox for you to listen that words from an Italian guy, because just one month ago, a majority of populism won Italian election, and in the past, the woman who became next prime minister used expression very strong against Europe. But I have a challenge, and I guarantee in a, a discussion with my friends, don't worry. Populists won election against Europe and then became able to create a government with Europe. We will uh, see a transformation of Italian leaders from anti-Europe to pro-Europe. That is tradition, not only in Italy. Please think what happened also in Greece some years ago. But consider what happened in every country. Europe is considered the problem in electoral campaign and became the solution during the government. I think we need a different vision. And for that, of course, I think next year will be very good. Why? You spend 10 minutes to have a list of problems, energy, food, uh, uh, democracy, demography. You destroy our good uh, vibes of the morning because you have a list of problems very, very strong. Please, believe me, exactly in the time of difficulties, there is the possibility to create a new vision. And in Europe have only one possibility to become big. Live time of crisis with a new vision and a new hope. I believe that is possible. Of course, I don't know what happened in UK in the next uh, months, but I know UK is, uh, just to introduce Pete, your, uh, our conversation, I think UK is exactly the symbol of that problem without Europe. Of course, the problem inside the UK government don't come from EU, that is clear. Come from a referendum, and uh, please remember, don't do referendum in your life. I lost my job for that. <laughs> please, uh, if you decide to create a movement against a referendum, I'm ready to fight with you. And I have a friend in London able to become prime president of that. Uh, the name is David. Please, don't worry. I, I'm sure he'll, uh, he will be able to, to work with us. But I think also 
the crisis of UK in that period show one thing. Elon is impossible for everyone. Elon is impossible for USA and the midterm election and next election will show that. Elon is impossible for Europe. Elon is impossible, of course, for Cyprus and for Italy. So thank you so much for your time and I'm ready to discuss with you Q&A.